Good morning guys, welcome to Bulgaria. So what you are looking at behind me is a normal Bulgarian neighborhood. These neighborhoods are scattered all over the country and they were built mostly during the Soviet period. Bulgaria was obviously not part officially of the Soviet Union, although it was a, an ally. We are currently in Lovec, it's in northern central Bulgaria. We're gonna go to the city center, I'm gonna show you a couple of spots that I have reserved for you guys and yes, Bulgaria, here we go! Alright guys, as you can see, we made it to the city center here of Lovic. Let me show you. It's a very nice and long walk here. There are no cars. Where people come to meet up with their friends. And just in the middle here, we have a the cathedral. It was completed recently, I think 10 years ago, more or less. Uh, I remember while they were building it. It's dedicated to uh, the Saint Kirill and Methodi and basically uh, these two were the monks that created, gave birth to the alphabet, to the Russian alphabet, to the alphabet that is used in Russia and in uh, various other uh, Slavic countries. Uh, it's used by 250 million people more or less and also in Bulgaria and it was actually created here in Bulgaria Let's now get in into the church. I already checked. It's opened. So uh, Let's have a look
This is a typical Bulgarian drink. It's called buza and it's made out of mm, grains, I think, like wheat more or less. And some other like sugar and some other, it's like a sweet drink. And here I got not what most Bulgarian would expect, so a banica, but a luchnik. It's like um, a breakfast thing that you can normally, I think it's with vegetables or maybe with beans. Let's give it a try. Mm. Yeah, it's with vegetables. There are maybe onions and some other kind of vegetables. And it's really good. Let me show you. It's filled inside. Just in the center here of the city of Lovic, we can admire the uh, covered bridge, it's called Pokrit Most in Bulgarian and it separates the new part of the town over here on the right side and the older part of the town, which is uh, the neighborhood, it's called Varosha and it's a very typical old neighborhood uh, of Bulgaria, we're gonna go to take a look afterwards. Returning to the bridge, the bridge was uh, built between 1872 and 1874 by the famous Bulgarian architect Koliu uh, At that time there was another bridge previously uh, which was destroyed and therefore the police chief gave the job to Koliu Fichtu to reconstruct the bridge and then uh, with his design he decided to make a covered bridge which contains some shops and we are gonna go to visit it uh, later to take a look how it looks like from inside um, this bridge right here has been reconstructed a couple of times because there was a fire which destroyed it in 1925 and um, nevertheless the design of today it's uh, actually the same as the one it has been reconstructed in the same way as it was uh, initially um, projected by um, the river here which we are looking at it's called awesome river it runs for 314 kilometers and it's actually uh, then flowing into the Danube river the very famous uh, river running through Eastern Europe um, all right let's get to the bridge and let's go to take a look from the inside on my hat as you, as you have noticed probably already and let me show you this is the hero that i was talking about earlier uh, vasil levski and this i am not sure who he is but maybe he's christo botev but i'm not sure a bulgarian writer but this is the person that gave his life to um for bulgaria for the freedom of the country Look at this beautiful picture here and all right let's continue and let's get into the old town you see there are many shops some are closed but most of them are open selling souvenirs to tourists it's very cool that the fact that you can walk into the bridge and we are now in Varosha in the old part of the city as I was saying there to the lady, I am actually half Bulgarian, I do not know 
If uh, all of you know, I have already mentioned in some previous videos, I'm half Bulgarian and half Italian. Let me just put on my sunglasses. Just give me a sec, guys, because the sun is strong. But the weather, it's awesome. Look at the sky. It's perfectly blue. There are not, there's not even a single cloud in the sky. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm half Bulgarian. And so I'm able to speak, so that's really cool. I'm thankful to my parents, my grandparents for teaching me that, so I'm able to understand and walk around by myself here. I mean, yeah, obviously also with the English you can get around in Bulgaria, it's quite possible most of the youngsters speak Bulgarian. And let me give you some other facts about Bulgaria. They use the uh, left as a currency, but I think uh, from next year uh, they're planning to move on to the euro as it's uh, Bulgaria it's tightening its uh, connections with the European Union it's getting more and more involved with the time it's already part uh, of the European Union as I was saying since 2007 when it was uh, added with Romania as well and uh, here we are coming to the Varosha neighborhood and we're now gonna start walking towards the top towards the uh, statue of uh, Basil Lasky and here let's cross the street over here you see here it's all older kind of houses typical Bulgarian houses here I remember the uh, hill it's fairly high up it's you can already see the statue on the top over there but nevertheless it's a nice walk into the old neighborhood and as some of you may know I have said this on the when we were going up in Ankara on that video if some of you has seen it I do not know but if you take a look the houses are fairly similar uh, with the parts of the um, of the houses coming out of the wall of the perimeter and you see this is the name of the neighborhood Varosha that's Mechana, it's like a, how can I say, like a uh, old school kind of uh, bar or something like that. Uh, you can see the road, it's kind of uh, rocky and a bit rough, not very smooth, but that's how it was in the old days.
old times. Imagine the people living in these houses a few hundred years ago, especially during the Ottoman invasion of Bulgaria. Bulgaria was under the so excuse my heavy breath but as you see the stairs are many and not finishing soon but I was saying Bulgaria has been under the domination of the Ottoman Empire for 500 years until it managed to gain its independence from the Empire with some uh, how can I say with some heavy uh, uh, fighting and yes I think we are going on the wrong way I'm not sure I think it is from here Okay guys, we made it up top on the city, we have the view of the whole town here and over there we have the fortress which we are gonna be visiting afterwards, while here on the top, uh, standing all over the town is the statue of Vasil Lasky, the hero. Let me read you some uh, information here about him from Wikipedia. Basically it says Vasil Levski was born uh, on the 18th of July 1837 and he died uh, on the 18th February 1873. He was a Bulgarian revolutionary who is today a national hero of Bulgaria, uh, dubbed also as the Apostle of Freedom. Levski ideologized and strategized the revolutionary movement to liberate Bulgaria from the Ottoman rule. Levski founded the Internal Revolutionary Organization and sought to foment a nationwide uprising through a network of secret regional committees. All of the Bulgarians are very proud uh, of uh, this person, of this hero of the country, for what he did for the freedom of Bulgaria. But let's get now um, into the fortress. I do not know whether you need to pay. Uh, I see a sign over here, which we could take a look at what it says about the fortress. The fortress of Lovic, it's on the hill of Hisaria, was first populated in the 5th, uh, between 5th and 6th and 4th century BC. In the Bulgarian history, the fortress is connected with the events of 1187, when after a three month unsuccessful besiege, the Byzantine Emperor Isaac II Angel signed a truce with the brothers Asen and Peter, with uh, which the beginning of the Second Bulgarian State was laid. Let's get to the. Da, dobar den! Okay, so the price was two uh, leva, so basically one euro, um, so more or less one dollar uh, for the students. I'm not sure how much was it for the other people, but probably it's like about four leva or like two dollars or something similar to that. Let's get in and let's see what the fortress is all about.
also the Balkan mountains in the distance. I think the camera probably can manage to pick it up a little bit. You can see there is snow on the top. Uh, the tallest uh, uh, Bulgarian mountain is the Rila mountain. And some of the most famous are Stara Planina, uh, basically it means old mountain. It's also a real mountain, uh, like the tallest on the all of the Balkans, and it's only seven meters uh, taller than the Mount Olympus in uh, Greece, which is obviously part, majorly, of the Greek history with the gods and all of that stuff. All right, you can see it's scattered all around, a massive rocks. Very beautiful fort. It's fairly basic and simple, but the positioning is awesome. And with the weather of the day, everything is looking beautiful. And I'm completely free to walk around and explore. There's no one checking over you. see the size of the city from here it's a fairly big city I think nowadays it has 38,000 citizens but before it used to have more let's see what's there on this other side yeah to be honest I don't remember I don't think I have been here it's probably Probably as a kid I have been, but who knows. And we are back at the bottom, guys. We are back on the main square of the old town in Varosha here. I think this is gonna do it for the video of the day. Uh, I'm gonna go to grab some lunch with my parents at some local restaurant. I'm gonna show you what I'm having, but this is it. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.